Hi there, welcome back to Colorado and Company. I'm Denise Plant. You know, there's a new Arctic exhibition in Denver that twists everyday perceptions, disrupts expectations, and slants idealism. It's called In a Dream, and it's on display right now at Republic Plaza. Tim Vaca with the Museum of Outdoor Arts joins us along with artist George Leuvengut with more. Nice to see both of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Denise. Thank you. This is really an exciting display. Tell me more about In the Dream exhibition and what it's all about, Tim. Sure, absolutely. Uh, it was on display originally at our indoor gallery in Inglewood, and it's a product of our design and build program, which is, which is an education program where we work with undergraduate students to come in for eight weeks and design and build an exhibition under a theme. This year was Altered Reality, so this is the product of that. It's just breathtaking looking at some of these photos. They're beautiful. And how did MOA's partnership with Global Arts and Events Program Arts Brookfield, how did that all come about? Sure, well, we um, have worked with them for a few years, actually, and we work with their local curator, Andra Archer. Um, we've done some outdoor sculpture installations with them, as well as some indoor gallery shows. Um, they've been a great partner, um, even though they're based not in uh, New York, they're here in uh, Colorado, they have Republic Plaza, where we g are able to showcase what we're doing, and it's mm -hmm. a great opportunity for us to, s to show the community what we're up to and to help artists, too. And let's dig into more detail about that with your initiatives with the community. What is that all about? Sure. Um, well, our mission is to make art a part of everyday life. We were founded in 1981, and uh, we're located at Inglewood Civic Center. A lot of people don't realize uh, while we do have a large outdoor sculpture collection, we also have an uh, indoor gallery where we showcase really fun exhibitions by local artists, national artists, international artists as and well. And you're in Inglewood? Correct. At the Civic Center. You have to go check it out. You can also go to their website, which is visitartsbrookfield.com or moaonline.org. And George, you're one of the design and build artists. What has your experience been like so far? Uh, my experience was amazing with the design and build program. Um, it really... It really pushed me as an artist to kind of expand what I do, mm -hmm. and it was a nice challenge to work with other artists and to create the what you guys see at right. uh, Republic Plaza. And to have your exhibit and your art on display at Republic <laughs> Plaza, that has to be pretty cool. What an uh, honor. It was, it's very exciting. Um, one of the m most exciting things, actually, which is part of the reason I was so interested in the design and build program when I applied, is that um, what MOA, uh, idealizes is bringing art into everyday life and that's the most exciting thing for me having the um, exhibit at Republic Plaza right. just because everyone gets to see it. Yes, yeah, so you have so much exposure. It. Yeah, <laughs> and you're right, experience it. That's a good way to phrase it. What kind of impact did the design and build program have on your evolving career as an artist? Oh, <laughs> quite a bit, I would say. I'm here. Yeah, <laughs> so you have a bigger platform, right? It took you to mm -hmm. the next level, do you feel? Yes, I do. It, um, it definitely helped push me past where I was and to kind of break out of my comfort zone and to be more open to um, experiencing different forms of art mm -hmm. to create. Where do you get your inspiration for some of your art? Uh, other artists, actually. Really? I see you can, I will see what other artists are doing and it'll make me really want to just experiment in that direction. Not copy, but like just right. take elements of their work and include it into what I can do already. So you have an influence from other artists. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Tim, what makes the In a Dream exhibit so unique? Why is it a sure. must-see? Uh, well, it's a must-see because it's part of our design and build program, which as I explained a little earlier, we work with undergraduate students and all of these projects are collaboratively built. Um, they only have eight weeks to create these, um, these projects and it's really exciting to see a team of 12 students come together and just hit it hard and uh, and create these works collaboratively. Is there another place where viewers can go see MOA's works and exhibit? Sure, um, well as you mentioned earlier, uh, Inglewood, we have an indoor gallery and outdoor sculpture. A lot of people also know um, we have a sculpture park out by Fiddler's Green Amphitheater in Greenwood Plaza. Oh. Oh, yes. We have a lot of sculpture out there as well. Oh, I didn't know that was you. Absolutely, oh, yeah. wonderful, cool. Mm -hmm. And if there's an aspiring artist and they're watching right now, how can they get involved? Sure, well, actually, we're going to be recruiting for our uh, next summer's design and build very soon. And the best place to find information is on our website at moaonline.org. moaonline.org. Correct. Okay, how long will this exhibit be on display? Uh, the exhibit goes through March 11th. March 11th. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. Congratulations. Right, thank you. What's your most exciting piece, one that you're so proud of? <laughs> I am most excited. Of, I'm, I'm most, I'm, ugh, the piece I'm most proud of is the sea bloom piece, uh -huh. uh, the white 
crustacean type things with the flowers coming out. Oh, that's yours. Beautiful. Yeah, we were just showing it. I worked the most on. <laughs> that's gorgeous. How many hours did it take you? Oh, geez. Um, a lot. A lot? Like, probably like 30 or 40. Can I just say, I'm so excited that I finally met somebody else who does on TV like I do. Whenever I mess up, I'm like, Ugh. I'm the same way. <laughs> All right, since 1991, MOA's design and build program has provided an opportunity for young artists, students, and creative minds to express their creativity in a collaborative art project. See their latest work at Arts Brookfields in a Dream exhibit at Republic Plaza, excuse me, oh, from now until March 11th. Visit moaonline.org for more information about the design and build program. And, of course, artsbrookfield.com for more about the In a Dream exhibit.